tell you about some humor that I had. Um, as some of you or all of you may know, I have a daughter. And think about the time, I think she was three, three and a half. So we had gotten ready to go to the store, and on my way out the door, I was like, okay, she needs a belt because her pants, she's really, really tiny, and she's super skinny. And so I'm like, she needs a belt, okay. So then we get into the car, and we're in the store, and I'm going down the grocery aisle, like, okay, okay. And you know how kids are, they like to be up here, and you're way back here, and I'm like, okay, Trinity, we're going to go in the aisle, other aisle, come on, let's go this way. So she's like, okay, mommy, okay, mommy. And then I turn around, come on, Trinity, you got to hurry up. So she's like, but mommy, I need help, I need help. Her pants are down <laughs> by her ankles <laughs> in the middle of the grocery store. It was, I thought it was pretty funny. And to this day, she still reminds me. And I'm like, I know, I know. She goes, but mom, my pants are way down here. She goes, mommy, I need help, please help. I thought it was cute. And then another story I have is actually the weird dream talking I had. I'll just call it that. It, it was bizarre. So I was sleeping. It was about a year ago. I was sleeping, and uh, I had woken my boyfriend up because I guess I was saying, "Ew, that is gross. That is disgusting. What the hell are you doing?" And um, a few minutes later, I'd actually woken up because I had used the restroom or something. I don't remember. And I come back, and he had this weird look on his face, and I'm like, "Why are you looking at me? What, what's wrong with you?" And he goes. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what's disgusting and what's gross. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. What's going on? And I'm like, I thought about it for a minute. And I'm like, oh, I was having a weird dream. He goes, what was gross? And I'm like, okay. So we're at his house, and his brother was throwing a party or something. I don't, I don't remember exactly the details. And his brother had this, excuse my language, smart ass look on his face with this grin, the one, the same one that he always gives when he's up to something. So he's standing by the door and holding it open. I'm like, what are you doing? That's gross. He was letting all these ants in. And I'm like, why, why are you letting ants in the house? And he's like, well, we only have like 20 years or something like that. And there's not enough for everybody. There's too many people. So I'm trying to get people to leave. <laughs> so I thought it was, I thought that, that was kind of funny. I don't horrible. know, I don't know why I had that dream. Wow. <laughs> so now that I've talked to you about my reactions and a little bit of humor, and I've talked to you about some thoughts for the week, I would like you all to give yourselves a round of applause again for making it. I mean, because those people that left, they were sitting on the couches and, you know, overflow on those chairs back there. That could easily have been one of us, whether we missed a speech or felt like this quarter wasn't the right quarter to do this, or, man, this is overwhelming, it's going to be hard, because I know taking this class, I knew it was going to be overwhelming, and, and it's a challenge for a lot of people getting up here and speaking in front of people. So I want you guys to be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of myself for doing this. And thank you.